So this one is planning of experiment, how we can plan an experiment. In this question, a student is investigating whether the resistance of a wire depends on the material from which the wire is made. The resistance is given by a formula R is equals to V over I. The following apparatus is available to the student. He's having an ammeter, a voltmeter, a micrometer, screw gauge to measure the diameter. A power supply is there, variable resistor, switch connecting leads or wires of different material are also available. Plan an experiment to investigate whether the resistance of a wire depends on the material from which it is made. Like example, if we have a copper wire, we have a nichrome wire, aluminum wire. So whether the resistance of the wire is affected by the type of the material from which it is made. So first what we have to do, we have to draw a circuit diagram, a draw circuit you would use to determine the resistance of each wire. So basically for this we need a we want to measure the voltage and we want to measure the current. So example, if this is a piece of wire, if this is a wire, so what we have to do, we have to measure uh, the voltage and current to find the resistance. So we'll connect So to this wire, we'll connect an ammeter to measure the current and we'll connect a voltmeter to measure the voltage. Then if we want to repeat the experiment with different voltages and current, so we should have a variable resistor. Then a power supply is there, a switch is there and the connection wires as it is shown. So this is a, a simple uh, circuit which we will draw to find the resistance because the resistance is a ratio between voltage and current. Even in place of wire, because wire is a resistor, so it is acceptable that you can draw a rectangular box which is showing a resistance wire. That is also right way. Or you can just make a wire and connect a voltmeter and ammeter. Both ways it is correct. Then second part, explain how would you carry out investigation, include the measurement you would take. So how we carry out the investigation or how we will do this experiment. So what we will do this ex in this experiment. So first we will connect the circuit as shown. Then we will measure voltage by voltmeter and current by M meter then what we will do after connecting a voltmeter and M meter we will use the formula resistance is equals to voltage divided by current and after using this formula, we will repeat the experiment. For different set of or five sets of voltage and current, like five different voltages and current, then Repeat the procedure with different types of 
material. So this is the second answer that we connect a voltmeter and meter. We measure the voltage current using a formula. We get the resistance. Then we get different voltages and current for the circuit and find the resistance. Resistance will not change. Voltage and current will change. Resistance, it depends on temperature. But then we replace the wire with another material and carry out the same steps. State the key variable that you would control. What are the key variable which we will control here? The things which we will control. For a fair comparison. Only thing what we have to change is the type of wire. So what are the things which we will control here? No voltage. We don't have to control a voltage. Voltage can be changed. Current can be changed. The ratio of voltage and current will be same for that material. So we should keep the length of the wire, the thickness of the wire, the length of the wire use, the thickness of the wire. Temperature because change in temperature will change the resistance. Draw a then state key variable. The, these are the variables which we will keep same. Then the table with a column heading, draw a suitable table with a column heading to show how you display your readings. You are not required to enter any reading in the table it means you don't have to write any number. It's just the table what you will plot. So voltage will be there. Current will be there. So we have voltage, unit is volt, the current unit is ampere and the resistance unit is ohms. Like example, you can have material A, B, C. This one is material A, B and C. You don't have to write any number, just the table. So this is an experiment for finding the resistance or finding the effect of uh, type of material on the resistance of the wire. So seven mark questions are there. Normally the mark distribution for these type of questions, one mark is normally for the correct drawing the circuit symbol and one mark is for the correct positions of ammeter and voltmeter. Then the procedure, normally the procedure will have two to three marks. The variables will have two marks and the table will have one. So the distribution will make it seven. Is it clear how we plan this experiment to find the resistance of wire? Any doubt in this? So it is important that you should also try to work out these experiments, try to figure out by yourself because normally repetition is there, but maybe if they, they did not repeat, but you should use your understanding of the topic and plan the experiment. 
so it's not like memorizing this procedures the experiment if you understand the experiment you can make your own procedure and write it in your own words 